Hey, before we dive in, I just want to remind you that we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers, and I would love it you would subscribe to the channel. In fact, I mean, I, this suggestion was made to me, so we're going to add an improvement. If you subscribe to the channel today, not only is there a chance that these Oreo cookies are going to rain down on you, don't worry, they're going to land in some milk. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Well, today we get to talk about the Nintendo Switch 2 again for a couple of reasons. First, we have a fresh batch of rumors surrounding video games coming to the platform that I'm really, really excited about. Like, these are legitimately games I'm hyped for. Bit of a caveat with those rumors. Also, we have some data coming in from Circana, which is now, you know, used to be called the MPD, showing that the Nintendo Switch in November, the biggest sale month of the year, had a massive decline in sales year on year. Wait, that's not good news at all. Something I warned you guys was going to happen. That doesn't mean these sales are horrible. It's just... Clearly, the Nintendo Switch is in decline, even though it was ahead in the first two quarters of the year. That being said, let's dive into the rumors, and then we'll get into the news. <laughs> first off, these rumors all come from a certain someone who we attempted to eliminate already. If you guys remember, we took Zippo, the... Guy with the weird blog who claims that he's having Zipmus going on right now with all of his leaks. If you guys remember, we dropped a nuclear bomb out on him in my backyard. He survived that. So then we hit him with the power of the force. Do you think you got him? Now, if we're ready to get moving, we can finish this. Sir? Yeah, he survived that as well. So I'm not sure what we're going to do to him next. But what I am sure is he's got some new rumors out there we need to dive into. And the first one deals with Visions of Mana, the new Mana game that honestly to me looks absolutely incredible as a Mana series fan. And he's claiming that it's coming to Nintendo's next system. So... Nintendo Switch 2 game. Here's a direct quote from his blog. Speaking of which, I'm now hearing that this new installment of the Mana series will be coming to Nintendo's new console alongside the other announced platforms. This will be one of Square Enix's first games released for the new system. So that's pretty damn exciting. And that's just the top of the iceberg. I think he meant tip of the iceberg. I don't know. Square is planning an extensive support for their next system with franchises and small. I think he meant big and small, but you know, Zippo's never been one to double check what he's typing. Anyways, I'm very excited to see more, more soon. I, I don't understand his, his English. Maybe he's not a native English speaker. Beats the hell out of me. Visions of Mana, though, is something I already said coming out of the Game Awards. I fully suspect to be a Switch 2 title. Other prior Mana games always came to Nintendo systems. I don't see this being any different. This definitely feels like a Nintendo Switch 2 title. And yeah, Visions of Mana looks absolutely incredible. So I'm pretty excited about that. But here's the thing. He's not done because he's talking Sonic and he's talking 3D Sonic. And the sort of things he's talking about with Sonic for next year feel like the sort of thing coming to Nintendo Switch 2. Here's what he had to say. If you watch Sega's The Game Awards hype trailer, you'll notice that they teased five games throughout, but you'll also notice they used a very familiar ring sound. That wasn't there for no reason. Thought everyone's favorite hedgehog was getting a break next year? Nope. As part of Sega's New Era Initiative, a new quote-unquote traditional 3D Sonic game will release next holiday. I'm hearing that this game is being billed as a follow-up of sorts to Sonic Colors, Generations, Lost World, and Forces. Because, you know, all of those games are actually directly related. <laughs> they, they literally have, like, different game. Like, each of those games has, like, different types of gameplay. I... 
Okay. Anyways, rather than 2022's Sonic Frontiers, which is a completely new branch for the series as a whole and will sprout its own follow-up in due time. It's going to be on a much smaller scale, though. This is going to be a more simple run-and-jump 3D Sonic game developed for the next-gen consoles only. No open zone this time. It's also going to be the first Sonic title to release on Nintendo's new system. There it is. Uh, next up, he says, Now I have no idea if this is an adventure-style game or a boost-style game. I have no idea what this game is. It's just a game. And it's going to be more simple. And it's going to be following up all these other games that weren't really that simple. <laughs> Zeppo, what are you doing? He's just getting wilder and wilder with the way he's describing things. He clearly doesn't know. He's literally probably making this stuff up. And in doing so, doing a horrendous job of pretending he doesn't know things. <laughs> Uh, it would be foolish of me to swing either way on that right now. When I have word on that, you'll be the first to know. Once again, this is a much smaller title than Frontiers, both conceptually and lengthwise. The game is being developed by the Sonic team with co-development and assistance from Sega's new Sapporo Studio. The last thing I can comment on today is that the game will feature Shadow alongside the Blue Blur. Considering Shadow was a complete no-show in both Sonic Frontiers and Dream Team, as well as the very obvious close release timing with next year's movie, which Shadow will play a prominent role in, it's safe to assume there's going to be some corporate synergy going on here. AKA, he's making an assumption. New Sonic movie, Shadow Gonna drop a new Sonic game. Shadow's gonna be in it. You kind of see where he's getting this stuff from. Now, again, these are rumors from somebody who has, let's just say, at best, an extremely spotty track record. He literally said some things were gonna happen at the Game Awards, and then those things didn't happen. Even though they were really small things, they didn't happen. He also said... <clears throat> Nintendo was about to do a 25th anniversary blowout for Smash, and then Nintendo did a spirit event or announced the spirit event for the fifth anniversary of Ultimate, which is not the 25th anniversary of Smash. <sighs> but he did get some stuff correct when it came to Mario Wonder, and that's really his calling this year is that he apparently guessed correctly and or had some legitimate information I'm Mario Wonder. Whether he got it from a source or a content, I don't know. I don't really understand the whole Zippo thing. I just know that we keep talking about it because I do think some of this stuff is cool. I do think Visions of Mana is coming. I do think we will get some sort of Sonic game next year. I don't know if it's going to be a traditional 3D Sonic game, but there's going to be some sort of game next year. Uh, I am just going to sit back and see what happens with this stuff. If there is a Sonic game next year, yeah, it's going to be on Nintendo's next system. Obviously, you could argue also in here, since he's saying it's going to be on Nintendo's system next year, he's also saying Switch 2 is coming next year. So there is that. But it's Zippo. And you know what? Maybe it's time I just get the shotgun out and finally put the old dog down. All right, now we got to get into the little bit of news we have here because Circana dropped all their sales information. And look, I don't want to dive through all of the data because, I look, I, I love sales data and it's fun, but we don't get a lot of numbers. And really all you need to know is like Hogwarts Legacy jumped up to number three last month on the back of it being the second best-selling game on Nintendo Switch. So Hogwarts Legacy appears to have actually sold pretty well on Switch, at least here in the United States and North America. But what really matters are the holiday sales because now we have data for November. November is Nintendo's biggest sale period of the year. The United States is Nintendo's biggest market. And if we remember heading into the third quarter of this year, Nintendo Switch sales were actually ahead of last year. Despite that, Nintendo would not lower projections. They, they literally said, hey, we're going to sell 5 million less Switches this fiscal year than we did last fiscal year. And even though they were ahead of pace, thanks to Tears of the Kingdom in the first two quarters, they never moved. They never budged. And now we have data suggesting they were right not to do that. Matt Piscatella put out that sales were actually down for PlayStation 5, Xbox, 
and Nintendo Switch year over year. But the biggest note is what he put in there, and that is that sales are down double digits, and the biggest drop was Nintendo Switch. So PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series, they dropped, but Switch dropped even more than they did. Uh, now, it did not drop behind the PlayStation Portal that came out that was supply constrained, but Nintendo Switch did not have a, let's just say, top tier November for sales. Now, it dropping below last year doesn't mean that they didn't end up selling, I don't know, let's say 6 million in this quarter or something. That's entirely possible, but they've been you know, pacing at 10 mil, 10 mil plus for years during the holiday season. And it does appear that, hey, they're not actually doing that this time around. This was the drop off Nintendo, by the way, has been projecting this entire time. By them telling us they did not want to budge off 15 million, that means they knew and they projected their third quarter sales were going to be a pretty big drop off from last year. And to me, this is the biggest indicator ever in the biggest selling season of the year there was such a significant drop off from last year that nintendo switch 2 is coming next year because look this is what the sixth seventh holiday attempting to sell nintendo switches and we're just seeing rapid declines year over year it's just i, I it's time i know some people want to think hey they can maintain enough momentum next year get us to 2025 and then they can launch a new system but guys Furukawa was not dumb. He sees the momentum going down. He sees where he admits they've hit market saturation and they're trying to sell people a second and third possible console. He knows what's going on. He's acutely aware sales are on decline. They're not going to want to see sales dip below 10 million, which is a very realistic thing that could happen next year, especially with the holiday sales no longer being the strong juggernaut it once was for Nintendo. So at this point... I think this is the biggest indicator we're getting on Nintendo Switch 2. So much so, I popped in on Andres Restart's stream last night. I made a little bet. Uh, this might be foolish, and I might significantly regret this. I bet my YouTube channel that there would be a Nintendo Switch 2 releasing in 2024. Technically, nobody took up the bet. They just read the bet off. Nobody nobody took the bet because like, they would have to bet something against it, right? Uh, but we'll see what happens on the Nintendo Prime podcast tonight. When we get on, just restart on there. Uh, Jake Randall, who he'll probably take the bet. Uh, I already lost a bet to Jake, so he'll gladly take my channel from me and uh, make, or, 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 or I guess take over my channel and have me work under him as an overlord. I, I don't know. Guys, I am just going to get out of here. I'm babbling too much. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you in the next video.